Welcome back to the Oki Smoking Channel. Today we're just doing a little veggie ramen noodle soup. So I've got the water here, got it uh, heating up, getting ready to boil. I've got a couple of ramen noodle noodles right here. I'm just going to add some mushrooms, a little garlic, a couple spoonfuls of garlic, and some uh, sauce I put together. Uh, and here's how I made the sauce. So I went ahead and added about a fourth to a half a cup of soy sauce. Went ahead and added about two tablespoons of corn starch. Also about two tablespoons of sugar. Of course, you could add some maple syrup if you wanted or something of that nature. And also two tablespoons of rice vinegar. A fourth a teaspoon of some ground pepper. I just kind of sprinkle it in there. Some other things added in here was some... Uh, good old sriracha sauce for spice. So if you didn't know, today is National Ramen Day. April 4th, National Ramen Day. So we're making ramen noodle soup. Very basic version. Uh, you could do this in the packet with the seasoning ever how you want to. We're just putting some of our own ingredients. You could add meat, steak, whatever you want. Um, so National Ramen Day. And uh, a fascinating fact about ramen noodles is, did you know they measured one that's 167 feet long? Now that's one heck of a noodle. If you want to see 10 other facts about ramen noodles, check out my bonus episode I did on my podcast. Less than 10 minutes long. I'll put a link in the description below for 10 fun facts about ramen noodles. So let's get into this. This water is about to boil. We're going to add the noodles into it. And then once that boils for just a couple of minutes, two to three minutes, we're going to set them aside because we don't want them to cook all the way uh, because we're going to put that sauce, which I added a little bit of water to the sauce that you saw made. And I'm stirring it a little bit here because I don't want that starch to stick to the bottom. Yeah, this uh, ramen noodles come from Japan and it is quite fascinating to know that it took the inventor of this one year to perfect it. So, uh, to perfect ramen noodles. So that's a pretty cool, cool fact. Another fact, if you want the other eight, be sure to check out the podcast. Now, let me just go ahead and get these uh, softened up just a little bit here. A great day outside today. Uh, 70 something degrees right here in Oklahoma. Got the pool cover off. Been getting that ready. Uh, for the pool season. Still a little cold, can't quite jump in yet. And out cooking on my little uh, propane, miniature propane stove that I have, which works great in the fire. And it is boiling way too hot, so I'm going to turn that way down. Real simple. Just going to boil these. Then we're going to drain them add the uh, sauce I made. First we'll saute the uh, vegetables. Let me get something to drain those real quick and we're going to set those aside, get the vegetables in and this dish will be done almost so stick around. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn the burner down pretty low and we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil in this saucepan. You could use butter if you wanted. Then I'm just going to add these mushrooms. You could also add some onions. That'd be good. Should have thought of that. I think I have an onion in there. That would have been good. So let me just go ahead, put it in, and let these cook for just a moment. And then I'll put the garlic in because I don't want the garlic to burn. Then we'll add the sauce. And then we'll go ahead and add this garlic. And I just used some minced garlic you can cut up. And I just used a couple spoonfuls. So. That'll give it some good flavor. I want to get those softened up just a tad bit. And I'm still stirring this sauce here to make sure that starch don't stick to the bottom. I actually have a little bit of that sauce here. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and stir this. So yeah, 
This is the fun part. Add whatever you want. This is how I like it today. Make it how you like it. If you want to add some chicken, add some chicken. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put it in it. All right. Now we're just going to go ahead and add this sauce that I made slowly in. There, it cooled down a little. And we're just going to simmer that sauce for a minute and see if it don't thicken up. So let's get that warm when it starts to boil just a little bit we're going to re-add the noodles and then cook those noodles an additional two or three minutes because remember i didn't cook them all the way because i didn't want to overcook them when i put them in the sauce so cook them about half to what you want cook the other half set them aside once you get this sauce heated up oh my that just smells fantastic that smells so good It is starting to thicken up. If you can't, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the, the sauce, it is getting thicker from that cornstarch. And if you don't want it all that thick, add a little less cornstarch. This may be a little too thick because it's really getting thick now. Look at that. Might even have to add a little bit of water. The uh, halfway cooked noodles, let's add them in here. Just like that. And stir them up. Let them absorb all of that sauce. If you need to add some chicken or vegetable broth to it, you can. Now, would you just take a look at that? Those mushrooms. It's soaked, that ramen soaked up all those juices of that sauce. Those dogs are sure talking to me next door. But let's go ahead and give this a try. It's a little spicy. That sriracha. Piece of mushroom. Mm -hmm. It's really good. So this cook cook went well off the train tracks. I uh, failed and I had to redo it. It still wasn't where I wanted it. And if you want to hear all of how that occurred, uh, again, check out the Oki Smoking Podcast because on our episode for April the 8th, Monday, I'm going to talk about this cook as I always do. Get behind the scenes information and um, hey, we'll talk about it. You'll see how much I messed up or listen to how much I messed up in the podcast. Until next time, keep on firing up that grill.